Good morning. Welcome to Renew. My name is Natalie, and I'm part of the team ministry at Maryland Baptist Church. Today's devotional is titled, Once Again. Not, notwithstanding, ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Philippians 4, 14-17 Paul had no access to the mission agencies and communication network that we take for granted today. He was sent out first with Barnabas and later with Silas from the church of Antioch. He had only what he took with him for resources. When he was able to stay in one place long enough, he helped cover the expenses of his work himself, as he did when he stayed with Aquila and Priscilla in Corinth. And because he ha was of the same craft, and uh, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers, Acts 18.3. But much of the time Paul was only in a town for a few weeks, and sometimes even less. Thus he frequently found himself short of funds. There were times when he went hungry because he could not buy any food and was not in a place where other believers would share what they had with him. On more than one occasion, the church of Philippi, at Philippi sent gifts to help Paul when he was in need. The last several verses of the letter he wrote to them revolves around thanking them for their generosity. One of the things Paul notes sp specifically is that they did not just give once and turn away. Instead, they continued to invest in his work and ministry, making it possible for him to focus on spreading the gospel. Those who only give once in a great while are missing out on being part of God's plan for reaching the world for Him. And today's growth principle is sustained and consistent giving to the work of the Lord lays up treasures for us in heaven. Uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and the ability to serve you. I pray that we would be a light in the dark world to spread your word and to serve you in all that we do. I pray for those listening that they would know you more and that we have a great rest of our day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Uh, thank you for joining us on Renew. Have a good day.